Hey, Dion, congratulations. Um, well, I mean, just what does it mean to be a part of this Bills team to finally win their first playoff game since 1995? I mean, can you even point into words what the emotions are right now? Uh, yes, I actually can. Um, special, just, ju just a special group. You know, uh, my emotions are still flying high. You know, we have great coaches here. We have a great organization. We have great management. We have a great owner. You know, our owner, our GM, our head coach, our position coaches, they all put this together. We're the foot so soldiers that just put it all into play, you know. And, uh, oh, man, I would not want to be anywhere else but right here repping the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> You've talked about the fans so much. What I mean, know there was only what, like maybe six thousand in there, but just uh, it, like just to welcome them and just have that yeah, extra I'm momentum, sorry, to, especially in. Sure. Yeah. So just to correct you, it's sixty-seven hundred. Uh, we can't forget the extra seven hundred. Um, it was amazing. Like honestly, when I came out of the tunnel, I paused. And I just looked around, like man, oh man, it feels good to have y'all back. Uh, and I'm just happy for all the young guys, all of the, the new guys like Stephon Diggs, you know, Zach Moss, Gabe Davis, all of those young guys, T Bass, all those guys that haven't felt what it feels like to be a part of this. They felt it today. And I mean, the 6,700, they came, they showed out and they represented for the, for the full capacity. I'm telling you, they represented for full capacity today. Oh man, it feels so good to have the mafia here. And, uh, I'm extremely excited and happy that they got to experience that and I got to experience it. Oh my God, I'm still happy. But the Mafia show, showed out today. They really did. Hey Dion, Jordan LaBarber here with Bills.com. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Um, it seemed like the last two minutes of the first half maybe took like a half hour. Uh, I guess, what were the emotions like from the turnover on down from the defensive stop all the way through that, through that drive you guys had? Uh, yes, uh, it was it, at that point, it was just complimentary ball, you know. Um, <clears throat> we knew that we had the ball coming out in the second half. So anytime we're put in position to score and before half, that's where our, our mind is. And uh, every time, honestly, we, we touch the field, it's it's score, score, score. So we know that Dable is, is aggressive and uh, he likes to, to go ahead and get it. So. We had to have our uh, seatbelts buckled and, uh, and get ready for, for some place. <laughs> I know you wrote the other day that uh, it feels like Josh, Josh has entered the matrix this year. Were there, were there some of those moments this afternoon? Uh, yeah, I mean, Josh, Josh mm -hmm. continues. Well, first of all, and the first like touchdown to Knox, I believe, like, come on now, kid is special. You know, he's special, it's a special group. And uh, mm -hmm. Josh is a, uh, is is almost like a creative cat and character on on Madden with a 99 overall. I mean, like, but like he just keeps doing it week in and week out. And uh, I'm happy to call him my quarterback, and I'm happy to block for him. Thanks, Dion. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thanks, Jordan. What's up, Dion? Can you hear me? For sure, Marcel. I can hear you. How you doing? <laughs> Good, man. Where you get that jacket from? Uh, it's a Sugar Hill jacket, but you know me. Uh, I'm a loud dude, so. This is the snowman. <laughs> Feel it, man. Uh, I, I think you wrote about it in your Players' Tribune uh, story about watching that ball, watching that ball in Arizona that seemed to be up there for, for a lifetime. What was it like watching that Phillip Rivers pass at the end of this game? You know, this time I was happy that it was going up there. Um, our guys practice it. Every single day, I see it every single day, every single practice. It won't, I, I don't want to speak for future things, but they practice for it not to happen. And uh, when it went up, you know, I was, I was less stressed, you know, cause it yeah. was just like, my dogs are prepared for this moment. And as you see, Michael went up and tomahawked that ball down. Like he was a starter on a volleyball court. And I mean, he double hand tomahawk spiked that thing as a statement, like, nah, it ain't happening again. So, you know, our defense does a great job, and uh, I can't be more happy for and those guys that are out there making plays. It's not every day that we see, it's not all the time that we see you guys dogpile and rush the field after a win. What were those emotions like <laughs> immediately after to just kind of let go and rush out? Oh, man. Well, first, uh, I didn't know how much time was on the clock, so I was like, are we supposed to be out here? Um, <laughs> 
but uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was just special, man. Honestly, like it felt like, uh, I don't want to say that it felt like the Super Bowl, but every win in the playoffs should feel that special, you know, because it's hard to win. So from them executing, everybody being able to bum rush uh, Micah and and Taryn and 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 Poyer and all those guys, Trey that executed. The whole defense, they, they 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 executed. So we just wanted to just give them our positive energy, and just and just let them know that that and we're happy and we're thankful for Absolutely. them that and that they executed like their one eleven. Was off the ground. You didn't touch them yet. I but, appreciate uh, you, man. Thank you. Yep. Also, Thanks, so. You have a good one. Uh, you too. Hey, uh, Dion, Mike Catalana in Rochester. Um, you, so you talk about the celebrating. Good. You talk about the celebrating yeah, at the end. Be, Josh um, made a point play, about you know, you before two, about Houston a year ago, feeling walking off that field. Do you so, think um, about that yeah, at all today? When, when you stop. think about it, how is that in your mind? And how much different was it the way you walk off the field today? Yeah, um, I thought about it in this morning when I yeah, when I woke huge. up, uh, and I uh, and I said, there, "It's like but, uh, we're not in Houston. We're home." So uh, it's a whole different page, a whole different book, a whole different uniform that our opponent is wearing. So uh, I left all of that energy in Houston, and I said, "Man, we have a clean slate for for us to be, for us to do something special." And um, it it truly is special. But uh, walking off in the field in this time, it was all smiles. No frowns. So uh, it, you know, it's a good day to be a Buffalo Bill. It's a good day to play for Sean and McDermott and uh, have an owner like the Pagulas. Great. Thank you. Yes, for sure, Mike. Hi, Dion. Matt Fairburn. Can you hear me? What up, bro? Yes, yes sir. I can hear you. Yeah, I mean, he's a, you mentioned Josh is kind of kind of like a creative character. Um, that's right there. What do you make of? The way he's able um, to extend all plays, all up, you know, make guys every, miss every in the pocket, it was checks. on display all over and over about, again today. Um, Man, and they the kid is like, he's just out there just, just having fun. And, um, you know, he's just out there just having fun and executing and sack, doing what, but, um, what he does best. Awesome. And that's leading, but, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, he's he a, continues to just show it. Like he could like, like, listen, if Josh Allen does not win the MVP, this thing is rigged. You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing it day in and day out. He's, yeah, he's extending so plays, he's, he's making plays with his so arms, he's making right plays now. with his eyes, he's making well, plays with his feet, there, he's sure making plays was, for the offense yeah, every was, single play. And it's just like, man, the kid is special. And he's and he's still young. So it's just like he has a long journey of greatness ahead of him. What did you yeah, notice about his demeanor, you know, um, uh, maybe compared to a year ago in, in Houston? Yes. He just seemed real dialed steady in. throughout the game. He was dialed in. Uh, if, if I could put it in one in one word, he was just lasered in, dialed in, you know, just extremely focused. Where he was like, "Nah, we're not we're not walking off this field and with a loss, you know, uh, comp elementary ball. Let's put all of us in a good position, and this is what we're here to do. We're here to win. And uh, I seen it, I felt it, and Josh's emotions and how he was talking, how he was calling calls, how his, his aggression was." You know, it's it's just there, and uh, he he went on the field with the kill or be killed mentality, and uh, the kill just outweighed the kill mentality today. Thank you, Dion. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, thanks, brother. Yes. Good afternoon, uh, Dion George Randy, Chelsea Community News. Congratulations on the big win today. How does it feel to get that first win, that first playoff win off your back? Uh, it feels extremely special. You know, uh, I've never been in a position. I like this, I've never got a playoff win. I've been in the in the playoffs with the Bills, but never won. So this is a whole different feeling. I'm just taking it all, all I'm taking it all, all in. But uh, as we do know, um, it's extremely hard to win in this league, and especially extremely hard to win in the playoffs, as we've seen for multiple years. So uh, we do know that this is not our Super Bowl, but uh, it's a special win, and uh, we're going to treat it special. And then in 24 hours, we're going to let this thing go. We're going to push on to whatever's next. Uh, Scheme-wise, did you, did you guys see hey, something? Because uh, Dylan Singletary and Zach Moss seem very successful running between the tackles. Is that by design? I mean, of course. I mean, we have a, we have a special coordinator 
uh, Brian Dable. We have a special offensive line coach, Bobby Johnson, and uh, and they just put us all in great positions to win and to su succeed. So our guys that's behind us, running behind us and throwing but behind us can uh, can shine and do what they can do best, which is run and pass. All right, great. Thank you very much. Good luck next week. And I like the jacket, man. Hey, thank Good you, bro. I appreciate it. If you I appreciate it, man. If you'd be the talk of the town tonight. <laughs> For sure, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you.